Well, we came in the locker room at halftime and it was complete silence, like last year. You know, not 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 a lot of leadership. Um, yes, you know, you know, you look at the guys last year. You grow into that role, and they grew into it more last year. The JJs I'm talking about, the Daniels, uh, and I really challenged them at the half to, you know. Game coaching is really overrated the day of the game. It's really overrated. You've already done your job. You shouldn't even have to show up as a, as a coach. So you guys, and so they, 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 they got vocal in the locker room. They carried it over to the second half. And I thought we made huge strides today. Today was a, not a program changer, but it was it showed what those guys are capable of doing without holding their hand, you know, without, I mean, that, it's their team, it's not my team, it's their team, and they can take it, you know, as far as they want. So it was them. The, the attitude changed. I'm not, sure, I'm not sure they weren't tight in the first half. I'm not sure they weren't a little nervous. You know, it's oh, it's new roles for all of them, and, and or most of them, and new situations for most of them. Exactly the fight you're expecting yeah, you know, it sounded good when we scheduled them. Um, it always sounds good until they show up. And, you know, you look at where it might be their fourth best player, and he played in the McDonald's All-Star game. Um, you know, Harrow, Hunter, I mean, starts for Kentucky. Hunter's a – I mean, I thought we really showed some uh, some extreme toughness in the second half uh, and, and played through fatigue and – changed the whole complex of the game. You know, we had about five unforced turnovers in the first half and again might have been tight, I don't know, and then nine turnovers in the first half. It was a contrast to two halves. Three turnovers in the second half, offensive rebounds all over the place. Stanton was you know, we went I, that won the game. I and mean, we went to the offensive boards and and made some great plays. Who are the guys that were vocal in that locker? and JJ, JJ's really, really proud of. We got a long ways to go as a group, um, and we'll run out of time. I say that a lot, but Dantiel, JJ, Stanton, uh, Daniel, the guys that have led in practice, uh, stepped up, and you know, they believe in the system, um, and they're. Uh, what I like is I think we're about a five, and we can get to a nine. That's kind of what Aviva said. He said you guys haven't scratched the surface yet. I think so. And yeah. Still trying to feel it out early season. I mean, Antoine was is a shell of what he's going to be. Sure. Little John is going to be really good, you know. Um, when, when Fred is eligible, he's going to change our team. I mean, there's a lot of a lot of potential. And we just got to stay on an even keel and keep keep doing what we're doing. They've worked hard to win that type of game. It's a good opponent. That, that game's going to be a huge win come March. You watch. Carlton seemed to do a pretty good job on Harrow there late in the second half. It sounds like he requested that matchup. Yeah, he spoke up in the huddle for, you know, I hadn't heard his voice since he said I'm committing. Um, so he spoke up and said he wanted to take him, and I love that about players. And the thing about Carlton is, you know, he'll, he usually has four scores around him, so he can be kind of that guy that can take the best player and hopefully eventually get to where he totally takes him out of the game and, we, and he doesn't have to score. Um, you know, we won't have to rely on him to score as much as, as, you know, we just have more weapons. Has the three-pointer been focused in practice around two? Because that zone wasn't given the answer, it seemed like, in the first half. And three ball felt like they had you guys in it for a while. Yeah, not one bit. I don't – I've never acknowledged that line since they drew it. I mean, we just – if we happen to end up behind it, fine. Um, I think we'll take more threes than any team I've ever had because – we really shoot it, and uh, they're not bashful. I mean, Jean's 
uh, I'm amazed at the confidence he, he shows. Um, he really showed some toughness. But, yeah, I think we it makes sense to if you can shoot it, shoot it. So we hit some big ones. What's last that? Year, last year the zone gave you guys some trouble and it did again in the first half. Yeah, we weren't moving. I like I say we were unforced turnovers. We weren't we just I thought, I thought we were maybe a little tight. You know, we're, we we did, we haven't practiced as long because we've got practice tomorrow a game, travel all day, practice a game, practice two more games. I mean we gotta we've tried to plan it out strategically and maybe we just weren't game ready I don't know what it was but they certainly didn't want to be in the position they were at halftime our guys are trying to make a point there were many times last year where you guys had five and double figures how important is that balance um, as this team goes forward oh I think it's huge I you know I, I I they asked me on the radio you know it was a great coaching move to put Daniel in when he had four fouls and not many coaches would do that with that much time left and you must really believe in Daniel, and I really believe in Daniel, and I know he's smart, and uh, I didn't think he'd foul, but equally I believe in the bench. You know, if he fouled out, I could put Joe in, and so yeah, that's a kind of answer. We have depth, and I, and again, we haven't. There's guys that aren't on this page or didn't play very many minutes that will win games for us. Do you think the scoring depth off the bench was the difference tonight? I mean, they had two guys who scored the majority of their points tonight. Do you think being able to bring those guys off the bench was the difference tonight? Yeah, I mean, that's who they are. The, the, I told the team, Harold's going to take the most shots and Hunter's going to be right behind him. And, I mean, that's what happened. And that's what you'll see in every one of their box scores. And I've had teams like that. You know, they drop off pretty quick after their five, and we don't. So, again, being repetitive, but, yeah, we have good depth. And it really doesn't even show up in this game yet. We're going to – we just have to stay healthy and keep listening. Speaking of being better shooters this year, you guys shot only 31% in the first, followed by 53 in the second. Do you kind of have a notion that you guys would heat up in the second half? Yeah, I, I went over some shooting lessons at halftime. And, <laughs> and uh, no, um, they're just good shooters, you know. I mean, they really are. They, they, they come in and put the time in. And so – we don't, there's not a lot of, with the rules, you can't practice a lot of skill development. So these guys come in on their own and do a lot of shooting. So I really think they were tight. I'm telling you, I think they were nervous. If, you know, I, I really do. Um, you know, Gene played in front of three people last year. I really think it was, a, you know, I really think there's expectations on these guys and they're a little nervous. Anything else for Coach? All right, Please thank just, you. You know, uh, last year we can we can pull this win out. You know, so obviously we had guys that stepped up and uh, try to help other guys. You know, Carlton played big minutes. Joe came came in and did what he did. You know, of course we we tried our best. So John John came in. You know, so it's a it's a team effort. You can't really point one guy out. Uh, I, I haven't I haven't I haven't got that far. You know, just taking one one game at a time. You know, we're we're watching a lot of film and uh, we're just. We're just trying to trying to stay focused, you know. So we have another game on Sunday against Mercer. So you got your fourth foul pretty early in the second half. What do you feel like to come back in? And be able to do that? Well, I wasn't I wasn't trying to do too much. You know, I was I was down a little bit just because I got two quick fouls, knowing that uh, my team needs me. But uh, you know, we have we have more guys that can step up. You know, I'm out. You know, Carlton came in, Joe came in, Gene came in. You know, so we have guys who can who can fill in for me. You know, so. Um, I just try to come in and just try to do the best I can. I'm not worried about points or rebounds, nothing. It's just a team team effort. What about that last three, though? Um, it, it felt wonderful. Hey, how you doing? It felt it felt wonderful. You know, I just I just needed needed that, and that that kept us going. You know, so man, we had some big 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 buckets down down the stretch. So. Yeah, Georgia State's not a name, you know, but household name in college hoops, but. Their, their roster is extremely talented. I'm assuming Stacey probably preached that to you guys even after this game. Just how ready were you guys for a team like this much talent this early in the season? We knew they were talented, and we're talented also. Uh, but, you know, we worked so hard this summer and, uh, you know, this offseason trying to get ready uh, for the year. And I just think we out-tough them in the second half, and we out-determined those guys.
You said Carlton? Yeah. Oh, well, Carlton wanted it. You know, we needed timeouts or timeouts. Carlton, he doesn't really talk, but damn, he <laughs> he said, I, I want him. You know, so we said, all right, well, go ahead. And obviously he did. He did what he did. You know, so that's that's what it's all about. No, we got practice. We got practice in the morning. Yeah, we have practice tomorrow morning. This is just another another yeah. game. We got Mercer on Sunday, so so you know, it, people probably counting us out, and it, it is what it is. But it's a it's a new team, so right here. we got we got Mercer, so we can't really worry about this win. It's it's over now after this media thing. So besides. Uh, Kind of poor shooting for you, kid. You had a double double, and I mean, it's the second strong game for you in a row. How's it feel for you to uh, to come in and be able to play like this for this season? I give it all all the credit to these guys. Uh, playing alongside of them is making my job easier. Uh, if I'm missing shots, they encourage me and to uh, lead the play alone and get to the next play. And um, if um, JJ is a, a wonderful pass, and also DB and other guys on the floor too, so. If the long shot is not going down, then just cutting around the basket and being ready to receive passes with those guys, uh, it's a great opportunity. I missed one of uh, Jay layups. He got on me about that, but it, uh, it's all good, though. We work on that in practice tomorrow. Yeah, we will. Late in the game there, you're yelling, that's how you play the crowd. What do you mean by that? Um, we just we just out toughed them, man. Uh, we made plays. Coach was just talking to us about making plays, not just on offense end, but defense end. And we was getting stops. Uh, we we slow uh, Harold down. He was uh, killing us off the ball screen, so we adjusted to that, and we slowed it down a lot. And I just I just was feeling it, and that's how you play. That's how you change the game. We was a game changer at that time. So there weren't many nights last year where you guys had five players in double figures. What's that balance like <coughs> where you guys can kind of just give it to different guys? You know. John's gonna come in. John's gonna come in. Joe's gonna come in and get some shots for you guys. I mean, that's the making of a good team. You know, last year we had to rely on pretty much me and DB. Um, this year we got we have players all around that. If Stan's not having a good game, if DB's not having. If I'm not having a good game, we got Gian to come in, hit a three. Joe hit a three. Um, I mean, that's what you that's what you need to have a team that's gonna that's gonna win games. Um, and I mean, we practice we practice harder than anyone. Uh, y'all know that, but um, we're only getting better. This we, we haven't even scratched the surface of what what we can do. So um, I mean, I'm excited. We're all excited, but uh, we gotta keep we gotta keep a level head uh, and come out and play Sunday. Does that depth give you the hope that you guys haven't scratched the surface, as you said? Yeah, I mean the depth, and you said uh, looks like we haven't really meshed together sure. fully yet. But um, I mean we have just a bunch of smart guys out there, and. Uh, I mean, you can see how well we adapted the second half. Uh, they did the same thing, and we carved it up. So um, that just goes to show the type of players we have, the type of coaching we have, the type of type of leadership we have on this team. So that's good. <clears throat>